to another class. So we are going to continue in uh, a topic further over theme. And this is a continuation of part one. This is the second part. And uh, we are going to look at uh, the second uh, area on the further over rhythms. That is now the logarithmic expressions. And in this case, we are going to be referring to uh, our first part, that is uh, uh, the uh, rules of uh, logarithms. And uh, we are going to look at various examples. We see various ways you can be tested on this area on uh, logarithmic expressions. Let's enjoy this. Um, example one, you have to simplify the following without using tables. The log of 25 plus the log of 2, uh, 625, divided by our 5. Uh, let's start with that. So, we've got a, a log of 25 uh, plus log of 625, divided by the log of 5. So, in this case, uh, in the numerator, uh, where you have the addition, you can uh, go back now to the first row of uh, logarithm. So this is the same as the log of 25 times 625 divided by the log of 5. And uh, this, you can write it in this way, uh, the log of 25 uh, considers uh, multiples of 5. Uh, in other words, 25 is 5 squared and then times uh, 65 that is 5 um, power 4 in other words 25 times 25 and then divided by the log of uh, 5 and uh, when you have the same basis the rules of basis we add the powers so this is going to be the same as the log of uh, 5 uh, 2 plus 4, we have the powers, power 6 over the log of 5, and then uh, we drop this power using now the power rule, so I get 6 the log of 5 over log 5, and then uh, log 5 divided by log 5, this one we can also cancel and they get our answer as 6. So that's how you can be able to uh, solve that, just making it simpler, and uh, that is it. So let's look at uh, part B. We have uh, log 128 minus log 18 uh, divided by log 16 minus log 6. Uh -huh. Now, uh, we can have the numerator is the log of uh, 128. This minus, of course, we divide by that number, divide by 18, all over the log of uh, 16 divided by uh, 6. And uh, looking at these two, uh, we can divide by two, I will get log of uh, one to three divided by two, we get uh, 64, and then 18 divided by two, we get nine over uh, the denominator, we have 16 over six, so we divide by two again, uh, 16 divided by two, we get eight, and then uh, 6 divided by 2, we get a uh, 3. So in our numerator, we have the log of 64 uh, divided by 9 over the log of 8 divided by 3. Looking at these two numbers, uh, you can be able to say they are treated in a way because uh, when you square 8, uh, you get 64. When you square 3, you get 9. Other one, in other words, you can have this as a uh, numerator as the log of 8 over 3 squared divided by the log 
or eight over three. And so when you have it like that, I can drop this power to have two, the log of eight over three over log of eight over three. Uh, then uh, you can be able to see this log of eight over three, log of eight over three, meaning we can cancel that one and then we have our final answer as two. Uh, let's look at part C. Uh, we have two the log of five minus a half the log of sixteen plus two uh, log forty. So this one is going to be right now the log of five. These two there should be the power of five. So five squared minus the log of sixteen. Then uh, this power half, uh, this half there should be power a half, then plus the log of 40, that uh, 2 there should be squared. Then we're going to be having uh, the log of 5 squared is 25 minus the log of 16 power half. Uh, power half, that one is the square root. Of 16 we get 4 then plus the log of 40 squared 40 times 40 we get 1600 and then uh, from there you can be able to have uh, as a single uh, whatever that looks good to have uh, the log of uh, 25 uh, plus that is multiplied by 1600 this minus we divide by 4 uh, get uh, that uh, this is going to be by 400, uh, by four, 400, then 400 times 25, we get this is the log of uh, 10 thousand. So 25 times 4, we get 10 thousand. So the log of 10 thousand, this is going to be uh, 4. Because in this case, we are asking ourselves uh, what is that number? Because when you don't have any this here, if this is 10, uh, the log of uh, 10,000, this 10 is what? In other words, what number do you use to 10 to give you 10,000? 10, 10 power, uh, what number do we get 10,000? In other words, 10 power x should be 10,000 is 10 power 4. And this for there is what we have just agreed. So the log of 10,000 is going to be equal to 4. So that's our final answer to that. So let's look at uh, example 2. Uh, we'll be told that uh, given that the log of 3, this 10 is x, and then the log of 7, this 10 is y, express the log of 3, this 10 divided by the log of uh, 147. Break uh, this 10 in terms of x and y. So, uh, we've got uh, the log of uh, 63, this 10 divided by the log of 147, this 10. We are to express this one in terms of uh, x and y, where x is the log of 3, this 10, and then uh, log of 7 should be 10 is y. So the first thing is to write 6 3 in terms of 3 and 4. And uh, 6 3 is going to be um, we divide by 3, we get 2 1, and by 3 we get 7, then divide by 7 we get 1. So this is the, uh, the log of. Uh, Three squared times seven is ten divided by log one forty seven is going to be uh, by three uh, get uh, four uh, because of twelve you mean uh, two then seven nine then seven I get a seven there a seven one. 
So uh, 1 plus 7 is same as now 3 times 7 squared. That. Then um, this one we express it in a more better way uh, the log of uh, 3 squared is 10 plus the log of uh, 7 is 10. That's our numerator. Same denominator we have the log of uh, 3 is 10 plus the log of uh, 7 squared. Then from there, we drop the powers. So we have uh, 2 log of 3 is 10, then plus log of 7 is 10 over the log of uh, uh, 3 is 10. Uh, plus 2 the log of 7 and then we were given as the log of uh, 3 is 10 to be x and then uh, the log of 7 is 10 to be y so we just uh, have as 2 log of 3 is 10 is x plus log of 7 this 10 is y, so we just uh, have y there. Then we divide by the log of 3, we've been given as x there. And then uh, the log of uh, y, 7, this 10 is now 2y. So we yeah, have expressed the log of 3, then the log of 1 plus 7, terms of x and y. Lastly, let's look at. Um, the, first, the last part we had to to uh, show uh, that uh, the log of a plus the log of ax plus log ax squared is equal to 3 to bracket log a plus log x. So we can start with the left hand side there. Uh, we have uh, log of a uh, plus the log of ax plus the log of ax squared we are told is equals to uh, the log and uh, 3 into bracket log a plus log x so uh, on this side here we can have the log of a then uh, we multiply by ax and then we multiply by a x squared. So this is going to be the log of a times a times a that is a cubed and x times x squared we get as x cubed. And in other words you can be able now to go backward and get this is the log of a cubed plus the log of x cubed and we can drop the powers to have 3 log a uh, plus 3 log x and of course you can be able to say that 3 is common you can factor it out to get 3 into bracket uh, the log of a plus the log of x so we have expressed or we have shown that uh, the log of a plus the log of ax plus the log of a x squared is the same as 3 log a plus 